Hey my lovely dolls and this is the lovely maker we're for today. Let's get into it. Hey my lovely dolls, so let's get into this look. So we're using this Pearl RX Moisture Primer. And yes, Moisture Primer because she has a bit of dry area on her cheeks. And we're just priming to let the skin know that, okay, you don't have to produce so much oil. And we're keeping the makeup on our face. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, guys, remember to like, subscribe. And follow leave your comments down below so let's get into the eyebrow so we're using the clean color eyebrow pencil yes the beauty supply pencil is still doing it for me I love it even though I ha have other favorites like the Milani and this other brand um, but yeah I'm still using the clean color pencils we're just carving out the brows she do have a lot so we're forming in those those eyebrows as you can see and we're doing kind of like a mix of the 28, 2016 eyebrows and a little bit of the 2023. So air like strokes in the beginning and very carved out ends. And now we're carving out the brows and I'm just carving the shape and cleaning up the lines of the brows so that we can get that particular shape that we want as i said she don't have much brows so we're even covering up a little bit of her brows that are straight um so yeah that's what we're doing here So these are the products that I am using to carve out the brows. I'm using the foundation powder at the foundation color at the top and underneath the brows I'm actually using the e.l.f. Hydro Camo Hydro um, Concealer. I really love this concealer for highlighting and so forth. It's a very nice and creamy. It's comparable to the Tarte Concealer. Um, so yeah, if, if it's that you want to get drift away from Tarte for you know what reasons go to elf and it's very affordable still carving out the brows and creating that shape now you can see an actual shape of the brows on her so yeah that's what we're doing creating eyebrows creating masterpiece okay and it really does take a time to perfect the brows because it is lines and you have to take your time to create so if you're not getting into how to do your brows yet just take your time now we're getting into the derma blend foundation sample you guys know this if you follow me i'm using this to prep her eyes block out the colors of her eyes because we're getting into the eyeshadow now and for today's look we're using the jeffree star banana fetish um, palette and you're going to be seeing the colors that I'm dipping into so that you can follow along um, if it is that you want to see the type of shape or if it is that you actually have the palette so for the first shade we're using that one at the the bottom there and it's like a yellow yellow tone um, light brown um, so we're using that into the crease kind of create some dimension and to bring some color to the crease for this this look is like a ice princess kind of look uh, it's just a very neutral shimmer look and i really love the outcome she looked a little bit red if i might say so but i really still love the look um because after she the, the the foundation and the blush settled down it was perfect
all right so now with a darker to the tone that we did a darker brown not too dark um we're creating some shape into the eye so we're creating that outer v shape and we're kind of um smoking out the lash line as well at the same time because it's like a smoky lash line kind of look as well as the eye splinters kind of you all will see how it comes together so what we're doing we're taking that mid-tone brown and we're creating a outer v i'm just taking my time and building that up with a precise eyeshadow brush um so you can use like a small eyeshadow brush that has like a nice compact tip and create that shape and y'all can probably hear my son in the background because i'm not gonna put any music over this um he was teaching us in this moment abc missing letters and all of that i was <laughs> enjoying him being there because the lady in this chair is actually his aunt so he was all over her wanting to be near his aunt as well because we're just creating content for this for this particular look all right okay, so now you can see a little bit more of the structure of that outer v that i'm creating and the smokiness of the lash line like really smoking it out and creating that shape to the eye like that cat eye v slanted look yes that's what we're creating with this this shade and i'm blending everything else as you know blending is key to all looks that we create because we have to blend in between and make sure everything looks blended and seamless not muddy but really blended now i'm going in with a little bit more of that derma burn primer the the leftovers that was on the brush and on and a little of the concealer on my hand to create a, a, a blank canvas where probably a little bit of the crease shade and the, the lash line shade is on the area that we're going to place another eyeshadow so i'm just cleaning that up a bit lightly not too much and then we're going to go into the other process and we're going to go in with another shade all right so she used shade right there it's a light a white shimmery look so it has a lot of shimmer in it um but you'd have to go up close it's very light um white as i said i call it the ice princess for a reason because of this light shade and the shimmer that we'll be putting down on top um so we're just putting it in that inner portion of the eyes it's not a cut crease look it's just a well nice blended soft glam look that we're creating here with this look and still keeping the color in the crease but put placing that white and a little bit of peach on the the eyelid color portion and yes my clients always fall asleep and i don't mind i just put their head where it needs to go and allow them to rest a little like yeah so yeah all right so with placing that shadow on the lid i kind of took away from some of the smokiness of the lash la of the outer portion so i'm doing that over and i'm just showing you that i'm replacing and we have to go over some of the steps that we're doing um when we're doing the eyeshadow look sometimes so yeah that's what i'm doing here All right, so I'm getting this shimmery silverish white. I call it a pressed pigment because that's really what it is. And I'm dabbing that all over the white section and the inner portion of the eyes. And it's going to create that shimmery ice snow princess look that I'm looking for. It's really going to bring the light. I, I'm so sad I didn't get a low light, but it was so bright because we're on we're on the outside we're by a window we didn't get that low light effect but it was so beautiful and i loved how it looked 
um so yeah we're doing that and this brand is actually by gabarellas it's a cosmetic brand sold in jamaica and here we're going in with 330 i think it's coconut the maybelline fit me foundation i think this is the dewy one not the matte and we're going in with that shade all over her face and yeah we're getting it into the foundation and the base of the look And you can see that the foundation is lighter than her actual skin tone because she is burnt darker on the out, the outer air portion. And this is where this hazel um, foundation cream stick it comes in. I'm darkening the outer portion of her eyes because you can see you will see on her neck that the foundation kind of matches it. Um, but we're darkening back to create that looking like her own skin because she's really um got a tan on the outer portion of her face and you can see a lot of dimension on her skin and we're creating that back with the foundation and the whole base process um so i'm going in as i said with hazel hazelnut by black opal cosmetics it's a stick foundation and creating that quote unquote contoured look it's creating depth it's the low light of the look and creating the shadows and the pe the peaks or whatever you want to call it um with the foundation all right now i'm going in with light yellow la girl pro concealer and a little bit of the foundation to mix and create her under eye color and i'm doing that and then i'm going to be placing it down with a brush i'm using i think this is, a, this is a elf brush i really like using this brush sometime i go back and forth with a sponge or a brush depending on the face that i'm doing or the time span if i'm do quick for time i'm definitely using a sponge because it's quicker and easier to blend with so if you want something to easy blend definitely get you a sponge to do that you can see all the places that i applied the forehead on the eyes and now we're going in with the smashback box cream blush and i'm putting this all this is where i went a little bit overboard but i really loved blushing her skin it really looks nice on her skin it did come out a little extra oomph when i put the powder down but i really love this um we call it it's this Asian kind of blushing kind of technique and I definitely enjoyed it on her skin. It did calm down after a while as I said and it doesn't look overboard. I just think I have to get used to doing so much blush. But now I am patty after I put down the blush I'm going to be resetting her on the eyes because I'm going to go in and put the powder down now. So I'm just going over with the brush to make sure there are no creases, adding a little extra where it needs to go, wherever it, it creased a little because I didn't set it right away. So I'm making sure I'm not going to be setting any creases in this look. Yeah, baby boy was definitely having a few time being a part of this because he's not normally outside when I'm doing faces. And here we're going into the Fenty Beauty um honey powder, loose powder, and I'm doing this to set the eye. As I said, make sure we blend out that that concealer before we set it, and we're heading in right in and setting the under eyes i really love the whole this look on her it wasn't too much it wasn't too bright it was just perfect for her skin if you haven't if you have tried this can you tell me what shade if you're anything like my skin tone that you really love um yeah let me know down below Alright, so next I'm getting into Giordano's blush and it's Terracotta Treasure and it's a great plummy deep tone for all skin type. I definitely mean all skin type. You use it lightly on lighter skin tones and it's very deep enough to use on very dark skin tones. So I really love using this.
so I'm using this and this is where I said I did a lot of blush like with that cream blush underneath and then this on top I definitely did make the face look a little bit red but however it's still toned down to look great now we're going into the city colors contour um, palette I love this palette I don't even know if it's still around I don't even know if it's still around but I still have it and I'm using it um, and I'm using this to contour and deepen sections of her face bronze and contour all in one her face and create some more depth to her skin who is the crazy auntie in in your family let me know down below the one that makes the kids go crazy the ones that play with them non-stop the one that makes them feel like they can jump and jump fly out of the bed let me know down below because this one is definitely the crazy auntie of the family now we're going in with the milani um mineral powder and this is in 108 medium and we're gonna use that as her base powder all over the face taming down and blending everything in together and making sure she's well blended and looking beautiful And we can see how everything is calming and taming down yes that's what we're doing with this powder bringing everything in and letting everything look blended and cohesive all together and making everything look like one look Here I'm taking a Jumbo Eyeliner pen Pencil from, I think this is LA Colors and I'm just using it to define the the um, lash line and I'm using it as a part of the blended, the smoky lash line look and smoking it out. I'm not making it precise, I'm using it to enhance the smokiness of the lash line as well. So I'm going to be placing it down and then blend it out a bit yeah that's what I'm doing here so I place it down with the the liner brush and then I'm just blending it out with another brush all right so we're getting into the lips now and we're for the lips we're using Milani in 74 Matt Darling and we're using a LA girl LA girls pencil you remember the shade um, but it's a dark plummy color on the lips so we're just gonna start by lining the lips creating the shape and for her we're just using her natural lip shape and creating dimension with the lip liner Alright, so as you can see, I spruced up her hair a little. We did a little bit of one curls on her hair. Get her all in because we're almost done with the look. And yes, you see, I'm still lining the lips, creating that very cute Cupid boy shape that she has, emphasizing her lip shape and getting her together. Alright, so now we're going to be applying the lipstick on the inner portion of the lip. And I just wanted to do a neutral eye and a bright lip because I don't see much of that these days. Most persons are doing a neutral lip. But I wanted to do a pop of color on her and bring like 
color to her face that's why i did the over overly blush skin and stuff but No, 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 that's what I did. Alright, so I just have to show you a little bit of that clip of how I love what I love about me doing makeup is how it brings out confidence not saying that girl not confident but it brings out that mm, that un, um, inner emphasis of beauty and and feeling in women and I just love that I that's what I love about my job and we're finishing up the lip we're putting more of that pink in on the lip and we're creating that look that we that I'm, I'm trying to create with that pink colored lip um, yeah so next we're going to go with this a more shine lip gloss from Milani and it is in number four foxy and I'm just going over and it's gonna bring down but not too much and bring some gloss to the look I really love this combination on her skin it really gives a uh, natural but not so natural lip lip combo and it really brought the lips and the whole look together with that blush and everything so yeah I really love this lip combo and guys remember to check me out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook all handles moya lovely you can find me everywhere moya lovely follow me on instagram so that you can see client photos and a little bit of the behind the scenes of the makeup but go ahead and follow me moya lovely on all social media okay so the look is really coming together and i really love it i'm applying some um iridescent glitter to her lips remember i said it's an ice princess snow princess kind of look kind of look so we're bringing it all together with with the lips as well so that's what i'm doing here and i really love this look i don't really get to do these bold even though it's a soft eye i don't really get to get to do much of these bold lips on clients because they really love the natural neutral looks these days especially when they're going out all day and they want to just switch up whatever they're switching up like outfit or whatever so but here's the look <laughs> <laughs> 